Hey guys, this is your homeboy Raven. Uh, Sylvia is behind the scenes today. Hello. And um, uh, the Italian Stallion has transitioned himself to uh, <laughs> the love of African food and culture. And, and I'll be cooking some African food today. And it's called Fufu. Uh -huh. And I'll be doing it for the first time by myself uh, after. Uh, some instructions. You got it, babe. Before, you got it. Beforehand. <laughs> so, guys, this is going to be fun. It's going to be delicious. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, welcome back. Step one, I will be boiling this water, where then I will be taking the semolina and mixing it in there. This way. And all you're doing is just gradually pouring some in here. Okay. And smoothly. Make sure there's no uh, lumps, babe. If, there, if there's any lumps there, what are you supposed if to do? If there's lumps, you're, you're supposed to like pan it out. Just crush it. And crash it and smother it. Smother it. <laughs> <laughs> Say that for a So, just like that. So there's no, so it, the texture becomes more like cream of wheat. Mm-hmm. Pour some and more. grits. I'm gonna pour some more gradually. Like that. Good job, babe. And so you see the cons consistency is becoming like the cream of wheat. And you again, you gotta smash out the lumps. Okay, I'm gonna continue mixing and continue and getting the lumps out mm -hmm. until it becomes uh, thicker. You got it, babe. And then I'm gonna cover it up, cover it up after I reach that point, which I'm gonna do right now. And after I cover this, it, sh it should start thickening up. And then I'm gonna pour some more semolina, and that's when it becomes harder. And mm -hmm. you start. You're, that's why you see the puffy <laughs> arms. I know, babe. You got some muscles. The muscles. But uh, once you learn how to do this, it's awesome. The African culture and food is is just unbelievable. I Raymond is becoming an expert now on making fufu. So thanks to, thanks to thanks to you, babe. You're gonna be making some uh, fufu every day now, right? Yeah, for lunch, and you know it could be eaten at all times. The way I understand, right, babe? Uh, dinner, lunch. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. So, and it's very uh, convenient, uh, simple, cost friendly. Yep. So, so when it becomes uh, really thick, like uh, a volcano. <laughs> yeah. So we're still <laughs> it's learning that on that. Because right now it's popping there. I don't want you to get burned. That's why we cover it. Yeah. Because that popping could hit you. It's not really friendly. So don't get burned, please. And then when it start bubbling more, we're gonna add some of this. And that's when the hard work comes in. Yeah, you got muscle, babe. Yes. Got the guns. Show your guns. There. Here we go. That's my man. The Italian stallion has hit African culture. That's my man. I have the, <laughs> the most beautiful African woman. So. And I got a handsome man. This is handsome an easy man. transition. I recommend it to everyone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at We're it. We're almost there. Ooh. Look at that, look at that, look at that. We should... Looking good, looking good. As you can tell, the semolina, semolina now is ready to be mixed. Oh yeah. Looks and I'll ready. be pouring gradually. Good job, babe. Yep. Yeah. And this is when the hard work comes in. And... 
That's the workout right there. There we go. <laughs> Gotta be fast. Get it, get it, get it, babe. <laughs> get it, get it. Get it, get it. You got it. You dig all the way underneath, and now to get all the lumps out. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Yeah. And the texture becomes more like uh, mashed potato doughy type. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's a small foof right there. Yeah, this is only small. That's just now, for imagine... me. That's gonna be just for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is not, that's not enough for all of us. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not enough. This is just a little. Imagine a big piece. The, your your arms will come up. Because. <laughs> Not really. Listen, our mothers know how to cook this thing, and even our fathers, you know, they cook big amounts, bigger size pots. Wow, looks good. Yeah, it's starting to form. Okay. Here's the fufu from Raymond. This is becoming a job. <laughs> <laughs> But it's going to be all worth it in the end. And when, when you go in your, in your tummy, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and we will be soon talking about that. <laughs> you got it, babe. vegetables, uh, meat, fish. and fish, so we can put on the table for you guys to see. And but we're going to show you how to properly eat it, eat this. Okay. Without <laughs> utensils, believe it or not. Keep <laughs> <laughs> it the African way. Okay. We'll be back. Let's set the table, babe. Okay. <laughs> okay, the food is on the table. This is the finished product. Okay, so you're going to do the food integration here? Yes. This is beef with skin cow. Right here. See? And we got the foo foo that I made earlier. I hope, hopefully, everybody learned how to make. Foo foo made by Raymond. We got the pandu, delicious. AKA cassava leaves. Cassava. Cassava. Cassava leaves. <laughs> the salt, salt fish. Salted fish. Put some onions and green peppers on it, and I got my little can go without it. It's uh, hot sauce, mm -hmm. hot pepper actually. It's stronger than hot sauce. Yes. This thing can put you on fire. Shortly, she will be on fire like a shirt. <laughs> I don't and think And I have so. a fire extinguisher <laughs> over there in case I have to, uh, put her out with it. No, I'm used to it. I'm good. And you're probably ask, asking about. Uh, Actually, let's get the water to wash our hands. We already washed our hands with our water and soap uh, previously. So we're just going to show you that our hands are clean since we'll be eating by hands. Exactly. We're right gonna, that's right. I said it right. We're going to be, she said it right. Mm -hmm. We're going to be eating with our hands and that's the African uh, way. way. Yes. Especially with fufu. Yep. So we're going to start with the fufu because that's what we're going to be mixing the food with. And then we're going to pray first, babe. Oh, and well, <laughs> Let God bless the food. Por favor, sit to play. This, this uh, thing is small, this part, this little 
Yeah, that's kind of small. But yeah. you want to make a little ball with your with your uh, with your one hand as much as possible. And then when you have it into that bally figure, why are you talking? I'm eating. Okay. That's cheating. <laughs> You want to take your thumb and make a little hole in the middle and then dip whatever you want to dip in. Either in the pandu, the beef, mm -hmm. or the, the fish. And we're going to start with the pandu. Mm. That's, the, um, that's the fish, that's the salted fish. It's called, in English, it's called makayagu. My what? Ma kayagu. I call it my fish. <laughs> Okay, you can, if you want to do my fish, that's fine too. But this makayabu in Lingala, it's just salted fish. So it is really good. I let it sit um, yeah, you cook in, the, in the water for 24 hours because it's really salty. So let it uh, sit for 24 hours so it um, can dissolve the salt a little bit and be less salty. We make um, Congolese food. So this is like typical Congolese uh, food here. And then maybe Raymond can tell you about. Um, well, food. there is some side effects. <laughs> <laughs> side effects. <laughs> if you want to say that, um, I mean, uh, the, obviously it tastes delicious. That's a good uh, advantage. But. Uh, the pros, be careful. It's easy to make, it's short, it's uh, convenient. But one thing that, uh, one lesson that I learned from eating fufu, and my wife set me up on this, <laughs> but one day, uh, we had fufu, it was like what, three o'clock, four o'clock in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. And right after that, we went driving, and I started to feel really, really tired and sleepy. And, and she knew it, and she was like, I, I couldn't figure it out. And then she told me later. I just, I, was, I just actually decided to keep quiet. And I was watching him as he was driving. And I see Roman driving like, like he was drunk. <laughs> Look at him, I said, babe, are you okay? I said, babe, are you okay? He's like, oh my God, I feel so tired. I said, I know why you feel tired. He said, like, what do you mean? Wow, that's the fufu effect. That's what it does to you. Yeah, I mean it's. And it's it, like what? How come you didn't tell me all this time? <laughs> yeah, I learned the hard way, but you know, it, it, you just might make sure you're not like going, doing something really. Uh, it's like it's the opposite of coffee, I guess. Yeah. That's, you know, that's coffee wakes you up, fufu <laughs> gets you sleepy. Yeah. So. <laughs> Does. Take you know, take that with a grain of salt, and but it's still once you eat it more and more, I think you probably you get used to it. You don't get as tired. Do you mm -hmm. think? Oh, yeah. still the same effect. It, it, it makes you tired. It might not be sleepy, but it makes you it makes you tired. You know. Well. And hey. How does the people in Africa, when, when do they, how often do they, do they eat this? Like once a week, every day, actually, once or twice a day? Fufu is really cheap, it's cheaper than, than rice um, back home. And um, some people eat it in the morning, believe it or not. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> if, listen, if you have some leftovers, and then you know, those who don't have money to buy milk, bread for, for breakfast, Get this in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning, before they go to work. They eat that oh. in the morning. Oh. Guess what? That will set you up for twelve hours. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why they call it. You know, twelve hour. Twelve uh, hours for our food. Twelve hour food. At least six hours, you'd be good for six hours. So those who eat it in the morning, I never ate it in the morning. But I heard, and I've seen people eating in the morning for breakfast. That means no lunch. You don't need no lunch because you all feel up. It will fill you up. Very good. And um, usually the way we eat it, uh, like that's why we sit sitting on the floor like this, you know, eating 
people some people eat you know, sitting on the floor with the whole family, kids and parents. Yes, and then Italian culture too. Oh yeah. And then uh, sometimes, you know, where I grow up, we sit on the table, you know, parents in the dining room, table, and then kids in the kitchen table, but we're all eating at the same time. You know, even though we're not sitting together on the same table, but we're eating at the same time. And then those who are from you know, those from you know, the family, some people I would say they eat everybody on the floor, sharing the same plate that we're doing right now. It's more like a community <laughs> community time. Like here in America, you know, it's an uh, individual, you have your own plate, I have my own plate I'm eating, you know. Uh, fork and sp uh, spoon. Yeah. But everybody's digging in. Yeah, yeah we're digging. And, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful concept because you, it, you get everybody together. And, mm -hmm. You know, when she first introduced this to me, I was like, kind of skeptical. But it's, it's beautiful. How does it feel when you touch it? The texture? Oh, it's like doughy. Um, and a little messy, but it, I mean it's bland. But when you when you mix it in with the with the with the meat and the fish, it's it's it's, it's awesome. You know, it's a beautiful combination. So we, we recommend this for you to make. Uh, we hope you learn from it. You know, because it's easy and convenient again. Uh, we hope you learn. You know, but if, enjoy if, this. if you eat it every day. This There's is, a lot of carbs. Oh yeah. A lot of carbs. So you know that's another reason why they probably ate it, you know, once every 12 hours. You know, <laughs> it fills you up. You don't need to like it's like she just said. You don't have to eat lunch. You know, eat it early. Oh, trust me, some people eat it like twice or three wow. times a day because <laughs> you get used to it. You know, when you eat it every day, you don't feel it no more. You just you just eat it. And. Actually, look at the fuf the foo foo that we're sharing. We have barely <laughs> what, babe? Not even twenty five percent of it is gone. It's just we have so much left here. This will definitely we're, we're taking it back. <laughs> we'll be sleeping soon. Listen, I've seen so many people back home eat like a big foo foo, just like that, with a little sardine. You know the sardine can. So they came just by itself. Wow. No vegetables, just fufu and sardin. A big fufu with the two sardines. <laughs> and guess what? The fufu will be gone. Oh yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm getting full already. I know. And we just barely started. <laughs> we just started here. <laughs> but it defeats. You know, if you want, if you're hungry and you want to fill your spot, so to speak, this is definitely the meal. Definitely. Yeah. I made um, the pondu two days ago. Because pondu is a long process to make it. Pondu is the cassava leaves. I made it two days ago. I put it in the freezer so we can have it ready for today. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. And in the pondu, I put all the um, vegetables, onions, garlic, celery. And then I put some. Uh, I'm asking you like you put <laughs> um, the smoked fish for the flavor. I make smoke. I put smoked fish in there, like little, you know, just a little bit, just for the flavor. So we make it, yeah, make it that smoky, smoky flavor. Yeah, makes it this really good. You got the fish back? Did you eat the fish yet? No, no, no. No, you eat. No, you eat the fufu by itself. <laughs> so you take the fish. We eat something with the fufu. Italian 
Ooh, that's right. That's where <laughs> I even more dominate. Uh. <laughs> but we ask for any suggestions or comments you want to make, please do so. I know there's a lot of people out there who eat for food. So if you, you're one of them, hey, shout out to you. Let us know how you make your fufu. Let us know how Raymond made your fufu. Yes, please. I'm always learning yeah. something different. And, and there's different ways in Africa, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, basically it's, uh, it's pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's just water and flour. And Raymond is getting better and better in cooking. I'm so proud of him. Sometimes I come from work. Yeah. And then um, I go in, um, in the I fridge. Used to my long way after four years <laughs> oh god so I come from work I get in the kitchen I see two big pot there I'm like oh my god I'm already nervous I'm like why did he cook I look in the, <laughs> I look in the pot I see um, my desu my desu is uh, beans he made some beans just the way I did I told him yes I, I, just the way I told him Oh my god, I'm like finally got it. Oh, oh I'm so thank proud god. Of I'm so happy because when I, I, I know sometimes I'm working when she, when she comes home from work and uh, I know I have that comfort in my mind that oh, she's gonna come home and she's gonna be okay. She don't need to worry about cooking. I know yeah. she's tired from a long day. And, and I know that's the way she likes likes it. So she's gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. So I, will, uh, I put the, the first uh, spoon, I'm like, hmm. That is like my food. And then you put the, uh, the chicken on the grill with rice or plantain. I'm like, hmm, that's my man. But, anyways, it was really nice for you guys to see how uh, women did this, uh, this, to watch how the women did this cooking. It was a pleasure to have you. Believe me, guys, it's a perfect uh, meal for your a date or your girlfriend or wife. <laughs> <Same> whatever. <date. laughs> I mean, coming home, a home date. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. African culture at its finest. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. I, right. I can't say enough about it. So. Yeah, keep talking, babe. I'm eating. I noticed that. Keep talking. And the food is disappearing. Um, uh -huh. So, again. Please subscribe, you know, click on the like button, put the comments, put your comments, ring the bell, <laughs> everything, all of that. We love you. Love you guys. So, take care until our next video. Yep. Adios. Adios amigo. Au revoir. We love you. <laughs> We're still eating. <laughs> I don't want to get up. <laughs> I don't, be I don't want to be interrupted. I'm not stuck over here. I'm gonna have a hard time to get up. <laughs> could you suck or could you fall? Mm -mm. Actually, you I got don't it? know what the bottom is. You know, I got my food. Right. Mm.